All right, guys, so in a previous video, we showed you how to zero the weapon. For fun, we're going to reach out to about 470 yards. So some of the things that factor into that is going to be weather conditions. Uh, we're not shooting so far away that we have to take in the time of the day, anything like that, anything crazy. But with the 308, I have a lot of experience with being in the military. So I know for a fact that's going to be about a 7.5 MOA to an 8. Now, that's minutes of angle. So what that is is we're adjusting the scope to that minute of angle so we're going to turn it's going to be for this scope i believe is one and a quarter so we're actually going to turn all the way up to the fourth number on that or correction the seventh number on that scope and see where that first round impacts so with moa you guys can download the app from hornady you can put in your bc for the caliber and weapon you're using um, they have especially if you're shooting the hornady ammo it helps out a lot trust me um, especially when you start reaching out and trying to have fun with distance. Um, it'll get you close, if not be almost on the dot of what you need to be. For shooting this far with the, the sunlight we have right now, there's a lot of mirage on the ground. So just by looking at the mirage and judging by the waves off of it, the wind looks like it's pretty much in our face. So it's about five to 10 right now, which is would be something to consider or factor in if it was a crosswind, but it's not, it's in our face. So we don't, luckily we don't have to worry about that right now. So it should be a pretty clean shot. We'll see where this goes. So with shooting long range, there's a ton of things that factor in, right? But for this, we're just having fun. Again, this is just a basic uh, knowledge of how to reach out and start having fun with those long range distances. All right, so we covered this gun up, uh, mainly just to keep some of the heat off because once we start shooting, the mirage off the barrel can actually distort the image and the scope. And that's one thing we don't want, especially if we plan on shooting for a little while at the distance. So we're shooting the Ashbury Precision with the weaver scope, side parallax on it, which makes it easy for the shooter to adjust and just adjust the air in that scope to actually get a nice, pretty picture down range. So I'm gonna adjust that now. I'm gonna wiggle my head slightly to make sure that crosshair is not moving on that target. I'm not getting any blurred vision. It's got a clean target, clean reticle. No, it seems like everything's ready, so I know so Charles has not dumped his scope. So I'm gonna go ahead and move over to seven him away. That should be pretty close to the range we're shooting at. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and chamber the round. I'm gonna get back on the gun. My spotter's behind me right now. He's gonna call my trace. We should be pretty close to target. Nice firm setup, clear picture. So this is almost 500 yards right now. I don't see much wind. I don't have much to judge off of, but I can see the mirage. Seems to be dancing pretty straight up and down. So I'm gonna take a nice deep breath. Let my body and heart rate relax. And I'm gonna to try to squeeze that trigger off at the end of my breath. All right, sending it. Stand by. Fire when ready. Fire. Firing. Hit. All right, so it looks like the first couple of shots were low. Went ahead and made an adjustment. A spotter called a hit on the third round. So right now we are at seven and a half in away. So right here is the zero for this rifle. We came over to seven and a half MOA, locked it in there. All right, we don't adjust for wind. And then the parallax over here, I have set to actually adjust the air in that scope. So I don't really adjust for wind. We zeroed this weapon at a uh, hundred. And then once I set the 
windage for that, I leave it alone. Uh, for me, I've been taught for years to hold for wind. So for the basic zero, this weapon at 100 yards, that's the last time I've touched this windage knob. Once we side in and zero at 100, I lock it in and that's the last time I touch it. All right guys, so that concludes our basic setup for uh, firing long range and zeroing a rifle. Again, safety's always first, um, safety's paramount. So we always please up our brass. Everything's good to go. Hope you guys had fun and join us next time. Nova Armory.